Welcome to Latin Per Diem. We have two episodes remaining in this, our series on Caesar's De Bello Gallico. And in this particular passage, we're introduced to one of the first and most interesting characters. Apud Helvetios Longae Nobilissimus Fuit et Ditissimus Orgetorix Is M. Massala et P. M. Pisone Consulibus Regni cupiditate inductus coniurationem nobilitatis fecit, et civitati persuasit ut definibus suis cum omnibus copiis exirent. Caesar begins by talking about the Helveti. Among the Helveti, he says, apud Helvetios. This preposition always takes the accusative, and it means among, in the presence of, or even sometimes at the house of. In that respect, it's like the French che or the German by. Among the Helveti, nobilissimus fuit et ditissimus orgetorix. By far, longe, here's the adverb, the most noble or well-born, superlative adjective, was, as well as the wealthiest, ditissimus, another superlative adjective, orgetorix. Now, this is a famous individual, and the stem of his name here, the the end of his name, I should say, not the stem, Rix, is related etymologically to rakes, as well as Raj, the Indian word. They all mean king, royalty. There are several individuals who will be encountered in Caesar's de Bellico, uh, including perhaps the most famous, Vercingetorix, and this suffix, as I've said, means royalty. This Vercingetorix, here we have is, the pronoun, M. Massala et P. M. Pisone Consulibus. This is the way that Roman historians would date events. They did not use years, they used the reigns of consuls. The Roman system had two consuls that were elected each year, and they had joint veto power. And this is how events in Roman history were dated. While Marcus Massala and Publius Marcus Piso were consuls. This construction is an ablative absolute. Of course, what's missing from this ablative absolute is a form of the verb to be as a participle. We have to supply it. It has to be supplied because essa in the classical period has no participles. So this man, or Gatorix, during the consulships of Massala and Piso, regni cupiditata inductus. What was he? He was inductus. He was influenced or drawn along, regni cupiditate, by a desire or a lust for a kingdom, for power. Now this word, cupiditas, in classical authors, is almost always negative. It has a very strongly negative connotation. It does not connote well with self-control and so forth. Caesar has drawn emphasis to it by placing regni first, then cupiditate, then this participle inductus, which is modifying is, which refers in turn back to Orgetorix. Drawn along by a lust for power, what did he do? He conurationem nobilitatis facit. He ginned up a conspiracy of the nobility. Please tune in next time as we will finish this sentence and finish our series on Caesar. Thank you for joining us.